Hello students, welcome to the E class of computers. Today we are going to start with chapter number 4, know more about internet. In this video class, we will be studying some of the portions of this chapter. The topics which we are going to study, they are as follows. So the topics which we are going to study in this class are the first topic is desktop background, screen saver, windows color. These three topics we are going to study in this video class. First of all, we will have a look over the introductory part. MS Windows is an operating system. This we all are aware about it. That MS Windows, it is an operating system. A system software that acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user is known as operating system. So, operating system basically serves as an interface between the computer hardware and the user. It also manages the resources of the computer and does many other things as well. The first topic, desktop background. First of all, Windows desktop, it is the screen that appears when we switch on our computer system. On switching on the computer, whatever is visible over the screen, that is known as desktop. Desktop is the operating Windows operating system. It is the main screen in window. The main screen is the window desktop. Wallpaper is the background picture of the windows desktop which enhances the beauty of the screen. So basically desktop background it is the wallpaper. The background picture of the window which increases the beauty of the screen. Now the question arises, how to change the desktop background? We all are aware what is desktop, we all are aware what is desktop background, but the question arises how we can change the desktop background of our computer screen. So the following steps which we should take in order to change the desktop background, they are right click at any empty area on the desktop and click the personalize option. Second step, click the desktop background option. Select any option from picture location. Choose the picture of your own choice and click the save changes button. So in this manner, we can easily change the desktop background of our computer system. Now the next point is screen saver. A screen saver it is a program that displays moving pictures or graphics on the computer system. You must have seen so many graphics are there sometimes on our computer screen or some of the 3D effects are also there. So all these things comes under the category of screen saver. It is a program by which we can display the moving pictures, graphics on our computer screen. It starts when the computer system is left idle for some time without performing any operation. That means you have switched on your computer system, but 
for five or ten minutes or for a particular time limit whatever the time limit you must have saved for the screen saver that when you are not doing anything on the computer system when your computer is left idle then after certain set time limit the screen saver will automatically gets activated now again we are all aware about screen saver we know what is the function of screen saver now the question arises how you can change the screen saver see the same things when we are using continuously for a period of time we start getting bored so changes are mandatory in a human life so how we can change the screen saver the steps to change the screen saver they are as follows first step right click at any empty area on the desktop and click the personalize option second step click the screen saver option a new window will appear on the screen third select any screen saver from the screen saver list box when you will click over the screen saver option you will get a lot of screen savers you will get a list of all the screen savers you have to select it of your own choice to set the ideal time of computers after which the screen saver starts set the number of minutes in the wait box as i have previously mentioned screen saver works after the set time limit so you need to set the time limit that after how many minutes when the computer is left idle the screen saver should start working so here you have to set the number of minutes then click the apply button click the okay button and you have made the changes for the screen saver and the screen saver has been applied of your own choice so this was all about how we can change the screen saver the next topic is window color this is going to be the last topic which we are going to study in this part so first of all the question arises what do you mean by window color so you can see sometimes the color of the window is blue sometimes it's black so all these colors you can change according to your own wish but how you can change the color of the window the main question is this so the steps to change the color of the window they are as follows step number 1 right click at any empty area on the desktop and click on the personalize option the next one click the window color option and then select your favorite color as soon as you'll right click on any empty area on the desktop and you'll click on the personalize option then you'll get the option of window color click over that and then you'll get a list of all the colors just select the color of your own choice and click the save changes button the color of your window has been successfully changed so this was all about window color how you can change the color of the window now moving on towards the home assignment the first question give two examples of each first part is desktop background second screen saver next question what do you know about ms windows 
we have already studied about ms windows in the previous chapters also and in the introductory part also something is being told you in the video class this portion only so you have to tell something about ms windows then the next question is what acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user this is a very very important question that what acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user this also we have studied in this video class so you need to find out all the answers from here only we'll get all the answers very easily so hoping that you must have understood this video class you must have understood all the points which were taught in this video class thank you very much for watching this video have a great day ahead